Private the Illuminator! Turn the This is Nebros. Let's right. playing Pound of Ground for the Bad Games Mega Thread. Damn greenhorns. They have no I'm Major JF. So the first thing I've really Good got morning. to say is what was is the font General they're using on Julio the subtitles Fernandez. here? I'm glad to see so many. And the font's the first today. thing you notice, not that guy's accent? Today I have you used to shitty your voice recording, but the font is terrible. Subtitles are supposed one, to please. add legibility. <laughs> Uh, right. This is Pound the Ground, as I was saying before, and it was released by Bohemian Interactive. Um, guys that do released Arma. It's not up to that game's quality. No. It is not. Uh, this is General Ripper, by the way. Uh, he's doing a bad, drunken Speedy Gonzales impersonation. And his symbol is a cow skull with wings. Don't so know. it is. So why is our, is he the enemy general, or is he on our side, or...? He's our there, comedic relief. The okay. the um, the he's the captain, supposed to be telling chance, the, the right story the that you're playing, but the story that you're playing is also in real time. I repeat, on the right side uh, of the th picture. This game thinks it's funny. I... I, I... Uh, I can see that it it thinks it's funny. It's failing. I. Uh, if you're you gonna pick on the font, I'm gonna pick on the fact that it's a slideshow with moving pictures. Yes. Well, it's a slideshow with moving pictures and a cameraman on site that he can yell orders at. But it wasn't. Yeah. Maybe it's projection and being streamed. <laughs> Oh, hey, wait, I think I played this game. That was that uh, Bejeweled knockoff of Zombies, right? Plants vs. Zombies? No. No, that one was a fun game. It was like quarantine or something like that. Yeah. You match up to zombies and they explode. Uh, by the way, this game is supposed to take place in America. Um, you'll notice that guy was equipped with an RPK. Uh, you may not have noticed it, but I was looking at it because I was trying to figure out what he actually had. And, uh, there's hyenas. Who almost brought the affairs yes, to a happy hyenas. Round. The monsters came from hell, and he's the And this is our main character, Major. No relation to the uh, commentator, hopefully. Right. And sets out to fight the... No relation, trust me. So what sort of game is this? Is this a shooter, a strategy? Uh, here we go. It's a third-person game. Okay. Um, our main character sounds like he's speaking all of his lines. Oh, you got his base! Oh, God. Uh, speaking of all his lines through clenched teeth, like he's being tortured or something, I'm inclined to believe that he actually read the script and that's enough. It actually <laughs> A forlorn farm. Its location uh. unknown. That big stubby thing is missing. And that is the game breaks up the action repeatedly, so as soon as you think you're actually going to be playing the game, it jumps back out of this. Uh, I left all the pop-ups in the game because I wanted to show how often this game actually screwed you with your interface. go too fast. In any case, There's something that bothers me about the, the slideshow he's giving up is it's creature. obviously supposed to be a brief Without thing a weapon, for someone, but they censor, well, they do these censor boxes over luckily, luckily, the zombies eating the things, and you'd think on his own. Come on, the people now, you're, you you're telling best. about it might need to see that. A forlorn farm. It's okay. um, they not, did that for one critical reason. They didn't know how to animate it. Notice the that last sounds item reasonable. especially. But I'm yeah. talking about, you know, from an in-world perspective. One major. One okay. With from an in-world perspective, would you really expect this kind of briefing with an actual recording and, you know, with a handheld camcorder there? And... Up to our heroes, won't we? Gameplay! What's happened to the sky? Uh, um, CPU tones due to uh, instruction boxes? Or... Um, are Go you ahead. talking about the toxic green No, I'm sky? talking about the green. Why is the sky so green? There actually is an in-universe explanation for it, and we'll be taking care of it here pretty quickly. Um, okay. Yeah, again, look how often this game kind of interrupts your gameplay. You oh, and you start without a weapon, by the way. You don't here. start with a weapon. I'm gonna shoot him. You have to drag him in front of this uh, fine hillbilly. Wonderful. And so it what's takes your her, guy supposed to be? Um, a rich man turned into a beggar, turned into a rich man, turned into a beggar. Um, 
I, I don't know. I, I actually did pay attention to the plot at one point. That's his actual story. Why or why it matters or why he's not. Them coming. You're doing well, boy. I don't An know. evil look ain't gonna hurt him. Sorry, every time she speaks, I feel my brain cells dying. Welcome to me. I'll show him how God invented the strainer. Come on! Do you think somebody here's afraid of you? I ain't. That's for sure. Why she goes. Don't show your teeth. You think that echoey? I don't know. It's because she's supposed to be yelling or shouting, but they don't change the animation at all. So it just sounds like she's turned on the intercom, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, who's it's, princess? That's her. That's her. Um, she's not the worst character in the game either. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, joy. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a character in this video who. Uh, I honestly had to struggle not to skip the video even while we're recording. Uh, yeah. Why is there a tiny house there? Doghouse. Oh, okay, doghouse. <laughs> so it is. Is there a dog? Um, there's a hyena. They're dogs, right? Vaguely related. Major, you and I had this exact same conversation the first time through. Yep. What about hyenas? I said they were closer, more closely related to cats. But I won't use those unless you want uh, It's amazing that, that this game draws lines of logic that you just <laughs> automatically start following. Like, why are there hyenas? Are, are, are they supposed to be dogs? Are, aren't they cats? So, um, They're certainly the wrong part of the world. Ooh, that was a ride, pretty boy. I'm telling oh God. you. Uh, seriously, every time she talks, so, I just... Did she just call us pretty boy? Yes. yes. Is there a romance you subplot major, in this? Aren't you? Major. Kind of. Johnny she also calls you Dasher, and I don't know why. Uh, she thinks you're, you're a fast on your feet. Feet. Dasher, Dasher Prancer. And they also do the James Bond thing repeatedly, because Major introduces him as Major Johnny Major. And everybody else in the game were introduced to like, her... I'm a farmer. Farmer, farmer, whatever it was. Thanks for passing by, Dapper. Um, Coming from the desert? They give you yeah, a baseball. He's now being called I Dasher, so. Dapper, don't really know. Pretty Boy. Darkness. And then I yeah. Here and, and, and his idle animation is funny, by the way. I, I kept wanting to call attention to it, but um, he scratches his ass and then like sniffs his fingers at one point. So, Maybe I don't, but that don't make um, it Our hero. <laughs> Strange that you're coming from um, the desert and you aren't bone, skin, and teeth like the other. They give you a baseball bat after this cutscene. You'll see me take a couple of experimental swings trying to prove something. There's a charge up attack, and that's the only thing you should ever use with a baseball bat if for some reason you play this game. Um, you can't use a charge up attack until the game tells you about it. They actually hard lock you out of using the charge up attack. They hard lock you out of using it. Yep. In the meantime, Are all the characters I'll really short, or were you playing in a weird resolution? Uh, no, they're really oddly proportioned. Okay. Uh, imagine the Quake engine, but worse, because... <laughs> I, I so don't... when was this game made? 2005? 2007? 10. Oh. 2010. Was it? Oh, that's right, because we were looking up, uh, 2005 was Destroy All Humans, right? Yep. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, we had this conversation, too. We were trying to figure out when this was made in relation to Destroy All Humans as if maybe it uh, stole inspiration from it. Why are these <laughs> zombies carrying money? Because this game uh, has upgrade systems, and uh, they want you to grind zombies. I wasn't having any of this, and uh, ran Cheat Engine and gave myself some money in a little bit. That sounds uh, useful. I've beaten this game legitimately on hard before, and hard is normal, by the way. Uh, right. I will not be doing the, the grinding required to beat this game again. Because uh, it, it hurt. Yeah, I can see how it would. Oh, by the way, he doesn't have a jump. Yeah, there's no jump He doesn't jump have a jump. Game. I don't know, there are, some plen there are plenty of good games where you aren't allowed to jump. The lack of jumping wouldn't be so bad if there weren't waist-high fences that required you to run all over the place constantly. 
appears for the Guinness Book of Records. Oh, and by the way, uh, he's only got about six lines for that baseball bat, and anytime you use the charge up attack, which again is the quickest way to use it, uh, he's going to say something about it. Oh, um, if you want a good drinking game to kill yourself too, take a shot every time he says home run. And I guess there's an achievement tied to getting a good distance or something, or is that too sophisticated for this? Nope, there is an achievement for knocking him over 40 meters. Um, there's also achievements for killing a bunch of enemies with baseball bats, and I actually ended up getting two achievements for, uh, one for batting the enemies in the water, which I kind of wanted to do just because uh, this game's achievement artwork is amazing, and I wanted to show that off. Uh. <laughs> oh, I say you pick up health packs, they're not used automatically. Yeah, and that's one thing I do kind of like, but um, there's no penalty to using the health kits either. So, uh, this game is not hard. Usually if you die, it's because you blew yourself up or something. Smash your head in! Yeah. Um. Yeah, just look at those cows. <laughs> I showed Show them off. the cows. I showed them off better this time around. The, the bad cows. Yes. They're short, squashed, and have ridiculous udders. And I think I, I want to say this is the last time we actually have to talk to her. Now that I have my material, I know who to get out. This is the last time this we have to talk to, to her. Blame for I hope. I don't know. I've honestly cleansed most most of this game from my memory. Green muck. And the green muck muck. Turns people into muck. Monsters. I can't even identify where her accent's right supposed to be from. It sounds like Texas, this way of uh, severe alcohol muck. poisoning. I concocted a muck. bit of explosive for you. <laughs> Go to the thing and blow it all up. It's right behind um, that hill over there. Yeah. Considering the accents with the other characters, it, it could also just be a Czech guy out. trying to do a American accent poorly. Probably. <laughs> yes, a Czech guy for the lady. <laughs> Oh, years ago, I, I was on a friend, and we somehow turned onto a Polish TV channel where they were showing an American soap, and instead of subtitling it, they overdubbed it. But they didn't have a voice actor for each character. So you could still hear the American actors, so that you knew what they sounded like, but there's this Polish guy talking over them in a dead monotone. <laughs> oh, um... Are you sure it's Polish? Because there was a Russian guy that did that for a long time on the black. No, this is this is on TV. This is an actual oh. TV channel years ago. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure if any of us actually understood Polish, we'd have stayed watching just out of sheer bafflement. <laughs> I want to say there's an American cartoon dubbed into German where a female character becomes male. I want to say it's like Garfield or something like that. And I know there's a Korean translation that does something similar. Normal always bounces back and forth. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking it was, because I want to say that the German normal is a guy, but I'm probably thinking of the wrong show. I used to watch uh, anime on TV in France, and they had six voice actors. Which, you know, is okay on some shows, where there's not a large cast. But on something like Dragon Ball Z or Saint Seiya... Where you've got, a, you know, you've only used up all your voice actors Here's on the main characters. The records. You know, never mind say hello over there. all the supporting characters and the enemies and so on. Home run. To be fair, you know, even today there's only like eight voices in an anime. Uh, and that's not counting Home run. Bloom and, uh... Oh crap, what's the other guy that's in everything? Oh. Yeah. That's a there's one uh, of the achievement achievement artwork. Feed the fishes. That was for kicking zombies into the lake, yeah? Yep. Yes. So, if you've been keeping tabs, by the way, you'd have at least taken six or seven shots for a home run so far? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I quite like my liver. We've got, you know, nice three at point to use healthcare at, at all, but the waiting lists for livers are fairly long. By the way, you can see the zombies attacking me there in the cutscene. Yep. Um, can you die in the cutscene? I don't know if you can die in the cutscene, but 
blows up a fog machine. They you must find out the for machine science. breaks into pieces and the <laughs> fog disappears. I probably will at some point just because I'm trying to speed run this game so I don't have to play it much longer. And as if that I'm bound to try and skip things. A magical carriage appears. A way out. A magical carriage. Carriage. Otherwise known as a motor car. Hero. All right, this is um, the Deuce's idiot brother or idiot cousin. Uh, I would much rather have uh, the Druid Plow than this piece of junk. Hmm. Yeah, see, I did take a little the bit of damage juice? from is that the car from what do you call it? That metal. Yes, that was Brutal Legend. And Brutal Legend came out before this. It's a not full... that old, is it? Brutal Legend. It is. The one with wow. Jack Black in it? Yeah. Yeah, the name of the car is the Druid Plow or the Deuce, depending on who's talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I know that. But I didn't realize the game was that old. It is. I didn't think it was that old either. It came out almost a full year before. It's uh, like... I, I can say right now it controls better than this game does. How does this thing compare to the Mako from... Uh... <laughs> that, that that's my uh, baseline for crap cars. Uh, I asked the subject. same question. See, the Mako has the advantage in that you can kill things with it easier, and uh, you can jump. Imagine the Mako's control scheme without being able to jump everywhere and slower acceleration and no laser gun. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember why that took so long. I think I was trying to... Oh! Uh, something to note. If you see any weird editing, uh, it's because this game will literally eat my footage if I uh, record the whole place uh, session. It'll, what do you mean it'll eat your footage? Uh, it ate two recordings without actually recording anything, so I have to record in five to ten minute blocks. Oh, lovely. What, you, what were you recording with? A DX story. Uh, I don't remember which codec I'm using. It works pretty well for the most part. It's just this game does not like being recorded. Um, even oh. streaming it, there were some weird issues with it. Yeah, also it changes resolution quite often. Yeah, anytime it goes into a cutscene, it's changing resolution and it's prone to causing the game to crash. That's insane, especially given that they're using in-engine cutscenes rather than pre-rendered. Yeah. Um, or at so, least you hope it isn't pre-rendered. <laughs> we will use pre-rendered cutscenes that we have made in our game engine. So this is the last time you're going to see the default... Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I have no name for this piece of junk. Um, I upgrade it fully from here on out because I was hoping it would make the game go quicker. And because <laughs> I did that, we found out that... Uh, a certain segment will be interesting because of it. No, dodgy lock, lock with a poison sign on it. Can't we just drive our car through there? Uh, no, the lock's on the other side of the gate. Well, wait till you see how we break the uh, lock. So there's no reason we shouldn't have been able to just plow through it. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Speaking of the turn. baseball bat and his... um. Incessant uh, home runs. I unfortunately made the connection between that and uh, Saints Row 2. Right, yes. I haven't paid that. I've, I've finished that, but not haven't paid for a while. We've determined that this is the check knockoff of uh, Saints Row. <laughs> uh. Basically, Cowbox and uh, Panzer Skank's uh, LP of Saints Row 2 was heavily modded. Right. And every time they swung the home run baseball bat, it would do a crowd cheering. Ah. Oh, hey, there's but a crowd I never cheer. really used the melee weapons in Saints Row 2. I sort of wasn't very good at it. There is a... Uh... Oh, there's a... There goes a lock. <laughs> and you can't just go through the door, by the way. You actually have to go back up and around. Well, you can't open it, get in your car. Oh, actually, I guess you can. Wow, I've played this and I completely forgot that it opens itself up like that. I'm going to stress that I try to forget this game as soon as I'm done you with it. You, like, you recorded it, you, e you edited it into one video, then you thought, 
purge memories. I did this at 2 o'clock in the morning, I think, right after I got off work last night. And then re so you slept on it. Yeah, I... Uh... I, I try not to think about this game more than I have to. Yeah, and instead of each wrench pickup giving you a little bit of health, you have to collect four of them to get full health. Nope, it doesn't even give you full health. Oh. Watch the health bar. Oh my. No, it doesn't even give you full health. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> And uh, if your car is on fire, apparently you can bail and grab at least a single wrench to keep it from exploding. However, uh, the wrenches aren't close enough that usually if your car is on fire, it'll blow up and it'll lose before you can uh, do anything with it. Is that a whole bunch of wrenches? Yes. Yeah, it, it's four wrenches gets you that little bit of uh, health. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, but uh, were those things that we drove through a bunch of wrenches? But why would they do that? Why not just have scarcer wrenches? Because part, all... of this, part of this game's uh, marketing gimmick was supposed to be that it's the car is supposed to be a major part of the thing, and I think they wanted a... Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought because of that audio. Um, <laughs> they, the car is supposed to be a major thing, and you're supposed to spend a lot of time driving, so I think they just really wanted it to be... Uh, Mario Kartish. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, is that the car steers and handles like it's taking them as suggestions rather than as a actual vehicle. Um, you would have better a better time steering a washing machine by uh, shouting obscenities at it than you would steering this vehicle around. There's a checkpoint. Yes. That's a loading screen. I mean, I meant the green bar. You know, those, those are loading screens. Dead calm. You all know what happened and how everybody ran away. And those Speedy Gonzalez's guys. drunk cousin here. Snake City, the last bulwark of civilization. The last hope. Hope cast asunder, by the way. I mean, the Western... Oh, and uh, another fun drinking game is every time you spot a typo or bad grammar, pulling up the bridge, take a shot. And on the uh, this is assuming that you actually are trying to kill yourself through alcohol. I was going to say, you're, you're trying to kill your viewers. That can't be good for repeat customers. Yeah, no, that's, that's not good. Don't, don't murder your viewers. Don't encourage your, your viewers to kill themselves. With just a few dollars. Okay, with, it's major. M-A-J-E-R. Yeah. Let's cut it okay. short. This is Chenda. Oh, hey, look. It's a, the best character of the game. Resistance for killing brain cells. Person who's currently available. Uh, Go, hero. Talk to the resistance and become their weapon. This is the cutscene I tried to skip, or one of the two cutscenes I usually want to skip uh, when I'm sitting through this game recording again. Luckily, I, I never... I don't understand how you can spend all this time making this and think it's good. How can you look at this and actually go, yes, we will play this game for fun? Um. Uh. You're far too commu committed and, um, it's your senior project. <laughs> oh, well, there's... Zombies weren't even a big thing when this was made out. So it's not as if they were trying to sort of leap on the zombie, zombie bandwagon. Oops. You got to see the escape menu when I was uh, both using Cheat Engine and splitting my recording up. Yeah, I did see a brief flash of escape menu. Yeah, I forgot to uh, get that like frame and a half out, apparently. Oh, that's right, because at this point I was uh, contemplating whether I was going to cheat or not. And, and I'm invulnerable or something. And I was like, ah, maybe I'll just drive around off screen and uh, farm enough money for it. And then I realized, uh, driving. What are you doing to that car? <laughs> that was me hitting the R button, by the way. That uh, sudden jump, that wasn't me editing, that was the game. <laughs> I'm gonna take my headphones off for this, I'm sorry. I'm not a zombie. And where are you coming from? 
from the desert. Uh, I probably shouldn't because you guys are saying things. I'm not a zombie. <laughs> I'm, where are you no, going, I'm bro? watching in silence. Your pants too fair. tight or what's wrong with you? You speak like you know, a broken record. They told me to find the resistance. Uh, if you want something fun, look at our NPC's mouth here when he's talking. What is this place? Welcome here, Major. Yep. Johnny Major. Uh, Friends call Muppets him. have better, uh... Oh, I won't call you Major, Major. What? Anatomical correctness, what are you gonna I guess. Call me, then? You don't remember anything? Is you brain falling out? Oh, God. I can... Stop, zombie! I don't know, my brain is about to fall out my from lips. this. <laughs> I am not... A zombie. Somehow they Tell took Barney you Fife Your brain and made him out. stupider. Oh, oh okay. I, I'm Chinda. I, I, I'm the one who created that there incredible red vehicle you drive. I'm the soul of this city. It's dead quiet here. As so, if all the dogs it's all the hyenas have died. And a few neighbors did the same. You say it's hyenas, well, but I haven't actually seen Everybody did, any. except... Uh, that's because they run away from you. I'm not actually sure if they're enemies or not. You could be our salvation! Sure, sure. I've been told that already. What's it all about? I don't really know. <laughs> just look, look at gun. his face. Actually, nobody that's knows. Just awful. At first, it started to stink here a little bit. Well, nobody really noticed that. Oh, the I just noticed. Came. His teeth grow and shrink as he talks. Do they really? Yes. What? Zombie. The Walking Dead. Or the Undead. It's a real fix. And anybody who spent a few moments in the desert turned into that monster. You were lucky. See if we get another close I don't up know the if you're scene. immune to the fog or what's going on. And this is the second what's time. That big, what's that big metal thing behind him on the tower? Uh, the Soviets are building a Tesla coil to defend their base with. Find the okay. generator deep in the I don't know. And it'll turn it off. It, it just looks like a then standard uh, wire tower to me, but... You got a explosive? Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh. Well, Here you are. The hero have nothing to say. Are his teeth moving, or is it just his lips deforming weirdly? That he would like to have enough Can't it be both? coffee and the steak with potatoes sprinkled with finely chopped parsley. But when you are a hero, the world doesn't let you decide. It puts a gun in your hand and points direction. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I don't think that's a radio tower or a water tower. Useful. You know, I never found out which end. I think that's a radio tower. Which end? Okay. Or a sign. But try to save the ammo. It doesn't grow on trees. Sure it does. I've got unlimited money. Trees. Well, yes, like every genius. Gender is a bit forgetful. Or is every forgetful person a bit of a genius? Or an idiot? Whatever. I'll say it myself. We did not need to zoom in on that. What do we no, know? No, we did not need Some to zoom in on generators that. that produce green fog. They're going There's for the incompetent zombie. cameraman joke, but... Only the canyon leading out of snakes. Does that would imply that anything in this game is funny intentionally? Last generator on the farm. Major came and had a word with the generator. The canyon is free, but the whole is it just recapping the previous twenty minutes the of gameplay? It is. Yes. Go to the canyon, or it couldn't. Jenda had put together. I, every time I play this game, I'm reminded of the MST3K episode where they're going on about deep hurting. Of courage to go all the way to the fog and set off the explosive. Now, a hero. Uh, uh, that's literally going through my head every time. The other thing going through in my head is why am I playing this? Why am I playing this? I could be watching Archer. Why am I playing this? You're playing this to entertain goons. <laughs> and what nobler cause could there be? That starts working. He will destroy it. Um Yeah, go now. I do like this well uh, animation as you walk away. What? I I got a secret little workshop here. Right here. Are you Behind sucking on a sucker? Can you can you take that out when you're doing your lines, please? Everybody knows it here. That tender secret shed. Just ask them. Ask who? It's well, not exactly a secret shed if everybody knows about it. So if that's the joke. Oh, sorry. That I'm bad at jokes. A bit like this game. Waka waka. I've been calling here and bring a few dollars along. I got seven children and I need to feed them. Or was it Piranha? I don't know. It's got teeth and it wants to eat all the time. Anyway, the door this is the death of comedy. It's always wide open to you, even though it's closed now. This is the video I game equivalent of like Control Alt Delete or yeah. memes. This is where comedy goes to die. And then you beat it to death with a baseball bat when it comes back to life.
And yes, it's he... a mercy killing, really. Did we just start falling down that hill as the cutscene faded out? Basically. Yes. Oh god, as if yes, we need to pause the action to explain <laughs> shooter control so everybody over the age of ten knows intrinsically. So I do like that where um, the game gives me the uh, the achievement for getting over a thousand credits. And by the way, that's a thousand credits actively, which means you can't spend them yeah. if you're trying to get that achievement. So I go through the full upgrade because every time you upgrade, it actually changes the vehicle. Oh right, okay. So it does. Spikier. It, it looks dumber. Um, yeah. But it is the reason why I keep calling it the Druid Blow, or the, uh, you know, the, the, the cheap knockoff, the Druid Blow. I did skip the Nitro because that doesn't change anything. And, I... and since it's hard to control anyway. It's even harder to control now. Um, I'll be uploading a, a side video of uh, me doing a legit run of this next section right here. But uh, it turns out... <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Uh, it turns out that uh, the enemy in this section is un uh, programmed interestingly. And yet another cutscene. We haven't had an awful lot of Holy actual cow. gameplay in what this, the have we? Hell was nope. That? Oops, this is a different league. I just realized he's saying oops and not oops. Therefore, oops. I'll be on my way. Alright, so this vehicle behind us it has two things going for it. It can one-shot you. And uh, that's the big thing. That one-shot you no matter what, by the way. Uh, fully upgraded or not, if it hits you direct on with a rocket, you're dead. Ready for Second, it has rubber band AI, which means that even fully upgraded and burning nitro, you cannot outrun the truck. It always stays a certain distance away from you. Speaking of which, here you go. Yeah, I was going to ask, had the video paused, or was it just the game having a moment of freezing? It's because I got hit dead on by a rocket. If it one-shots you, it uh, freezes the game for a few seconds. And, and there's all my money. Does the, do the coins act like rings in Sonic, and that you can go and pick them up? Nope. It's just the game rubbing your face and the fact that you're dead again. I was... Uh... Uh, speculating that they originally intended to have a competitive multiplayer, mm -hmm. where or where you could say pick up you, pick up rings. Speaking of I which, mean, coins. Yeah. Um, that squirreliness that you're seeing, where I uh, slide all over the road, that was me just holding the forward button. Right. So actually, uh, speeding yourself up too much in this section actually makes it harder, not easier, because of that rubber band AI. So can you say it can never you can never outrun it, but will it actually catch up with you? Yeah. Oh, it uh, does. It's not that it stays a certain amount of distance away from you, regardless. Yeah, if you slow down at all, it'll uh, actually pass you. Which sounds like a great idea until a section coming up here in about what a minute, thirty seconds, right around there. Yeah. Oh, and that motion blur can't be turned off. Motion blur can't be turned off. It only turns on when you're going fast enough, and it's actually a bad enough motion blur that it actually bothers me. And I'm usually immune to that kind of problem. There goes your front fender! Eh, Does the car have destructible bits, or is it a one-off, a one-item? Just your bumpers. Just your bumpers. Well, it's so, now firing two missiles at you, and they seem to be homing a little bit. They are homing. Yes. And that's what that camera on the top left is supposed to be, but because you... To the graves with you! There's no way to dodge them effectively. They're either going to hit you or they're not. Uh, so, here we get to see the truck. Yes, the Mad Max truck. And there you go. Fun fact, you can hear the machine gun shooting. That's why when my car was on fire, you didn't see me get out. If you get out, he machine guns you down pretty much instantly. Awesome. I mean, that sounds really fair and balanced and uh, things like that. You must be new here. Uh, <laughs> one of the upgrades on the car, by the way, is a cow skull on the front. I don't remember if that falls off. Does it do anything, your cow skull? No. It just makes things spike here. I would, 
I would literally... If there's one thing Games Workshop has taught me, it's that spikes are good. And if there's anything that Games Workshop has taught me, it's uh, don't run a business like GW, but... I gave up on my Imperial Guard years ago. Yeah, some of my co-workers are quite into Games Workshop stuff, and they actually all like the new one, Age of Sigma. Uh, my understanding is that the only people that like it are the uh, people in the UK, flat out. I, I think the biggest concentration are in England and Scotland. Mm. Well, I think it's because it's it doesn't take itself 100% seriously. Which is what uh, it's supposed to be, but they've been going grimdark. Yeah, whereas, you know, early, early uh, 40k stuff is really quite ridiculous in a way that newer stuff isn't. I want to say it either was a send-up of Judge Dredd, or like a... Oh, it's a send-up of all of that. Right, well, Judge Dredd... And Judge Dredd itself was a send-up of totalitarian police state stuff. Yeah, and I was going to say, I want to say that it either started life as a Judge Dredd game, and they ended up not getting it, or they just really liked Judge Dredd. No, they did do a Judge Dredd game. Yeah, I couldn't remember. An actual legal one. You know, licensed from 2008. I couldn't remember for sure, but I mean, it. The the more the game took itself seriously, the worse the rules got. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've gotten completely off the topic of this game. Well, well some, somewhere along the line, people forgot it was supposed to be satire. Uh, and that, uh, you know, the empire weren't supposed to be the good guys. Well, yeah, and. Of course, they've taken that away. The Imperial Guard, somebody was telling me that uh, the Imperial Guard are basically SS Nazis with the Stormtroopers being the actual like SS now, where they kill puppies in front of people kind of bad. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but it just made me glad that the last time I played uh, Imperial Guard were still likable idiots wearing flak jackets and using flashlights. And coming up is how our hero defeats the truck. Nobody can beat me driving a car. And Major wins again. The Beast even organized fireworks in my honor. You know what this looks like? This looks I like didn't an old actually 50s. see what happened there. It ran into it's a very street, yeah. badly conveyed the action. The uh, super heavily armored truck runs into a welcome sign. sign. Yeah. Oh. Because that makes sense. Yeah. The Mad the Max re reject. So did we blow up a zombie generator, or did they just forget to put a dream skybox in here? No, that's what that uh, first cutscene was after we talked to the idiot at the farm. And okay. he almost ran over a, a hyena. Oh, that there. was a hyena there. And there's one running across the screen. <laughs> I do Why remember that. Why are there hyenas? Isn't this somewhere in America? Yes. Yep. Here you Could see they be coyotes, like maybe? No, no, they're hyenas. They're even labeled as hyenas in the achievements. Okay. <laughs> the hero gets to the fog, starts the EMP from Chanda, brings about a bang and the fog... All right, game, you don't need to narrate us using... Garrett's eye on a helicopter. Is it still show not tell if they're telling you about it while they're showing you? Kind of. It's show and tell, isn't it? This is my first game project. No, I don't know why it makes a bird noise when it flies off. I try not to think about it. Cute. It's trying to be cute. That's what it's doing. For a moment. Then it will literally be a race for life. Who will well, now you have to outrun friends? it, I suppose. Well, Major, well, we have to. You have two minutes to get to the point. Honestly, even without the evil machine, the upgrade, I could. You, you have more than enough time to do this, but and put it into the lottery wheel. The drama. So why is the started. game called Pound of Ground? Um, it's actually Pound of Ground's actually its subtitle, and I don't remember what the actual. I think it's Darkest Days, Pound of Ground. Oh, so just terribly generic. Yeah, I I, I don't know why it's called pound. I, I I think it's supposed to be like pound of ground meat, maybe is what they were going mm -hmm. for. Um, the other option is is that it was poorly translated. Entirely possible. Maybe it was. I don't know. I was thinking about yard of ground or something. No, that doesn't make any sense either. 
I'm pretty sure they're going for a pound of ground meat kind of a reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the yard of yard does not quite work. No. <laughs> a yard of yard was that? Yes. I would actually enjoy that title a lot more. Record coming! And I drive the wrong way here, by the way, because the game doesn't exactly make the mini map useful. No, it's very small. It's too zoomed in. And it's hard to tell exactly where you're pointed. Yes, there is that little cone, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a few times you'll see me spinning the camera around trying to figure out which way I'm actually looking on the map. Oh, and there's the actual map, by the way. <laughs> there's the actual map. Good to have seen that. Because I couldn't remember if I was actually going the right way or not, and I really didn't feel like driving in circles here. Here's a question. Um, if you are at a smaller resolution, do the UI elements stay the same size? Uh, yeah, I was just going to ask, are you just running in a higher resolution than it was expecting to be run in? You know what, let's find out, because I've actually got a, uh, another version uploaded. Um, I had to re-record it because I forgot to change the resolution in the game, so uh, it was all in standard resolution. Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, let's see, comparing notes, uh, it's about the same size, yeah. Okay. So they, they rescale or they don't rescale the UI? Ah, uh, they don't rescale. No, of course they don't. It feels Was like... this on the consoles as well, or...? It feels like a bad PS2 console game, doesn't it? No, it wouldn't be PS2. No, we, thinking... we had this conversation too, because um, I was thinking, arguing that it was a PS1 game, but there's too many polygons. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't think it could have been PS2, but I'm not sure the PS3 was out when it came out, so... No, uh, it came out in 2010. Oh, it... 2010? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought you said it was much earlier. No, no. 2005 was the... Because uh, we were trying to figure out if it was ripping off Destroy All Humans. No, uh... Yeah, this was... Wait, no, so it could be PS3. Yeah, it could almost be launch title of PS4. No, PS4. Ma okay, no. maybe not. No, uh, not, not a PS4 launch. I mean, some of the PS4 launches were terrible, like a Bound by Flame. I might be exaggerating the time frame Back a little bit. So, can you guys tell where the explosive barrels are all over this place, by the way? Um, not really. Yeah, I completely forgot they were here, even though the game has a pop-up yelling at you about it. And then I remembered they were there later on, and... Um, they're the most dangerous thing in this game. You're going to kill yourself with those more than you'll kill, uh, die to the zombies. Are they uh, the dull brown bar barrels? Yes. The ones oh. that you can't really see very well? Yeah, I legitimately missed quite a few of them, not even realizing they were there. Uh... God, his run animation is so bad. Yeah, there's one to the left there that we just ran past. And there's no indication, no real solid indication that you're supposed to go to the right here first, by the way. What is our actual goal here? We've got... To sh it appears to be shutting off the smoke generator. We're blowing it up rather than relying on the EMP and it rebooting or something. Okay. Next! Uh, the pistol does make this game a lot more tolerable just because you can kind of shoot through pretty quickly. How mm -hmm. he's got a 12-round mag with a revolver is beyond me, but I'm not going to complain. It's a really big revolver. I would actually be happier if it was a revolver, you know, followed video game revolver logic, though. And what is video game revolver logic? I forget. Uh, generally one shot's anything you pointed at. Wow. Oh. Okay. And there's a barrel going off, which actually did kind of help. But you did, it does look like you did a lot of damage to yourself. Yeah. Because their blast radius is about as big as this entire area where this generator is set up. Uh, 
the explosion of the generator does kill zombies, and uh, you can see it in that cutscene, though. Right. And my game crashed right after that, so... That, and, and your game crashed, and that was its end of video. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was just like, you know, that's actually a good place to stop. The game's <laughs> obviously telling me that I've hurt myself enough for the night. <sighs> yeah, it's, uh... Well, I don't envy you having to play more of that. You do know you don't have to complete games in the bad game thread. You are allowed to just do a ha-ha, look at this pile of shit and move on. We're about halfway through the game already. You're about halfway through. You poor, poor soul. Um, and I want to show off at least the gangsters, because there's human enemies later on. Oh yes, the mafia, he said, that controlled part of the town. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um... Okay. That was Pound of Ground, and that I... That was Pound of Ground. I have nothing nice to say about the game, and I apologize for nothing. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm glad I could, uh... I'm glad I could see it, and very glad I don't have to play it. <laughs> and, uh, bye, folks.